Okay, welcome back. After installing the minimal CentOS 7, uh, these are the following steps that we're going to do. We're going to actually uh, do a yum update to update the kernel. Uh, we're going to disable the firewalls. Uh, we're going to disable uh, SE Linux. And then uh, we will install the Apache web server, uh, MariaDB, uh, basically replace MySQL DB, 100% compatible between the two. The only thing is, is that Oracle bought MySQL DB, so now that they're now they're uh, basically doing a spin-off of that called MariaDB, uh, we'll install that, and then uh, we'll install PHP, and then uh, restart all the services, and then I'll show you the uh, basically the PHP info page where you can see to make sure that all of your extensions and stuff like that are available in there. So let's get going on this. Let's do a quick uh, yum update. There will also be notes on uh, the steps that I took uh, for this as well as a uh, uh, place where you can go to my DocuWiki site where you can get more information. Okay, so there's 18 packages. It does look like there's a kernel upgrade. Um, so I'll show you uh, basically the kernel before and then the kernel after we reboot, and you'll see there's a difference. I'll say yes to this. Now, one thing that has changed is instead of the uh, normal, I guess, services that you could use to start and stop services, you can still use it in 7, uh, but it's been kind of a little bit depreciated because uh, they have a new thing, uh, System D, that's been uh, implemented in, into uh, CentOS 7. It's also in Red Hat uh, Enterprise Linux 7 as well. And uh, from that, you basically do the same things. It's just a little bit different, and uh, you have more or less, I almost call them modules, but... Uh, services and stuff like that that are installed that you can you know start stop disable enable and uh, we'll get into that as well once we start disabling the firewall and, and, and things like that Alright, everything's been completed. That part looks good so far. Uh, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, disable the firewall. So it'll be system CTL. Disable. Called firewall D service. Um, so basically IP tables and all that stuff has changed as well. Uh, firewall D is the service instead of IP tables. Uh, so right now we're disabling the firewall. Goes through and does make some changes. You can see it doesn't remove and stuff like that. Um, we can also stop it as well. So do a system. And that just basically stops the firewall. Uh, now when it reboots, the firewall will be disabled because we put the uh, earlier uh, one in there. Uh, here, I just want to show you the current uh, kernel version. You can see it's 3.10.0-123, or 123. And then we installed or updated the kernel, so once we reboot, it'll actually go into the new kernel uh, after we reboot. But before we do that, we want to uh, disable the SE Linux. That's uh, located in the uh, this config SE Linux. Instead of enforcing, we're going to say disabled. Right quit. And then now we're going to reboot.
and we're going to do a uname a and now you can see that it's uh, 3.10.0.123.4.2 so that's the new kernel um, that was installed uh, when we did the updates uh, SC Linux has been disabled the firewall has been disabled all our stuff so now what we're going to do is we're going to continue installing the lamp we've already got the Linux installed now we're going to do Apache uh, in CentOS and Red Hat it's called HTTPD uh, so we'll do a yum install Yes. And here we can just use the old command if we want. Check config httpd. Um, and it goes through and it makes the changes that it needs to do for that. Um, then we can, we can start it. And it started the uh, httpd service. And then also we can look this up with the uh, system control. List and then minus units. And then here we should be able to see the uh, HTTP server. Right there, HTTPD service, and it's loaded, active, and running, the Apache HTTP server. So we're good. Uh, web server is running. Um, if we went to a web website, we could uh, verify that. Okay, next thing we want to do, uh, since uh, you know we're going to continue with the LAMP, is we want to install the uh, MariaDB. Uh, used to kind of stand for MySQL, but it's basically the same database. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, it was a spinoff. Um, and they've uh, created their own uh, version of it because Oracle bought the MySQL uh, version. So what we're going to do there is do a yum install. And this installs the server as well as the client packages. And we use the uh, system control enable. And that has enabled it. And now we're going to actually start it. And let's get started. And now we're just going to do a MySQL secure solution. Set a root password. And there we go. Uh, the uh, MariaDB is set up, and we're uh, good to go on that part. Uh, now I want to install the PHP. Okay. 
that's been installed. I just want to show you something real quick. Uh, we're going to uh, create a file, uh, basically just to tell us what information we have for PHP. And it'll look like the following. Uh, once we do that, we're going to uh, restart the HTTP service. And then we can also check it in a uh, web browser. Okay, now that everything's been installed, the basic PHP, Apache, and MySQL, uh, we haven't done all of the uh, PHP stuff yet, but I just wanted to show you real quick that we can uh, go to that uh, page that we re created to see the PHP info, and uh, we'll do that right now. Uh, so we should know what the IP address is. It is, for me anyways, this is the IP address. So we'll put that into a browser. Refresh it. We can see that it's PHP version 5.4.16. Tells the uh, build date, all that information in here, uh, where the file scan loaded, all that stuff is. Um, and you can see the other thing like configuration, what well, modules like the Apache environment. We also see like bzzip, core, um, curl, date. It's all usually alphabetical. And I just wanted to show you that right now there's no uh, MySQL uh, here. So we're going to install some more. PHP stuff. So let me uh, minimize this and get those other files. And say yes to that. This will get our uh, our MySQL, our ODBC, you know, other things. And you, there's multiple ones you can add. Those are just the standard ones. Now here, one thing we have to make sure that we do is we do restart the uh, HTTP server. That's restarted, and then we can go back and check the config file. We'll refresh it. And you can see there's a lot more information in here now. Uh, you got the handler, you got your Apache environment, headers, bzip, calendar, core, Perl, date, DOM, XF filter, filter, FTP, GD. Hash. I mean, just a ton more that we've added. Uh, MB string. There's the MySQL, which is also the same as uh, the MariaDB. Here you can see it even says MariaDB. Uh, so we know we're good there. Uh, and that is a LAMP install for CentOS 7 uh, minimal. Thank you, and I'll be having some more videos up here. And, you know, really excited that CentOS 7 is finally out. Uh, maybe eventually I'll get into some containers and stuff like that. Again, you can get some more information on my uh, DocuWiki site, which will be documented in the notes, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.